Nasna, the iconic little town nestled in between the Nasna estuary and the Otaniko mountains to the north. Holiday and retirement destination of people from right across the world. Multi-million rand developments hug the shores of the lagoon, as it is locally known, giving access to the sea through the famous and unpredictable Nisner Heads. Approaching from the east and the north, there are large tracts of indigenous forest and pristine natural areas guarded by age-old, giant yellowwood trees. These giants have survived for hundreds of years, casting their shadows over the forest around them, reminiscing about a time when they dominated the forests all around. A quaint little beach known as Nutsi, with several castles built from sandstone, gives respite to the rough and rocky coastline. It is also a last resting place for a humpback whale, giving its body back to the ocean where it lived, fed and raised its calves for the past 40 years. The now lifeless fluke swaying through the water for one last time, as if saying goodbye to the watery embrace of the Indian Ocean. These behemoths that grow up to 15 meters long 
regularly travel along this coastline on their way to their breeding grounds further north. Just around the corner from Nutsi, the heads opens up to the Nizna estuary, where many a weary boat captain has come to grief. Pilots of old and signal fires gave way to electronic leading lights, guiding ships into the narrow, rocky entrance of the lagoon. The National Sea Rescue Institute, manned by brave volunteers, always willing to help the unfortunate, is situated just inside the heads for a speedy response to any marine incident. The few wrecks inside the heads gives opportunity for scuba divers to inspect the remains of these unfortunate vessels. Just inside the heads lies Leisure Island and Bollard Bay flanked the deep channel on the eastern side leading past the newly developed Tyson Islands and the small craft harbour. Here one can find vessels paying homage to old pilots and newly found dinosaurs like the John Ben and the coelacanth of three legs. The Nisna Keys that reminds one of an older era, with moats and drawbridges, forms part of a busy waterfront with restaurants and other retailers catering to the tourist trade. The once bustling Naza train station, home of the Otaniqua Choo Choo, now empty except for vagrants and some dilapidated coaches. The water tank empty, signals rusting, and turnarounds unused and filling with rainwater.
hopefully the day when steam trains will once again tap out their rhythm on the tracks across the lagoon bridge is not too far away. Along the causeway out of Nizana, the Salt River is one of three waterways to supply the lagoon with fresh water. Once, this water ran clear from the forest, but now has been replaced by muddy runoff from hills above where indigenous forests have been replaced by row upon row of pine plantations, golf courses and housing developments. Blue gum, black wattle and other alien trees freely growing where life-giving forest once stood. The Nizna River is slowly being choked by all sides, but still flows to feed the floodplain where the river meets the lagoon. Belvedere Church and Cemetery is the final resting place of pioneer families like the Rexes, Duthies and Teesons who tamed this area and made way for an uncertain future of the town called Nisner. <laughs>